हेलो एवरी वन माई ने बीज इन साइड ई के वाई एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द चैनल इन साइड मोशन पिक्चर ऑन दिस चैनल वी मेक अमेजिंग वी एफ एक्स एंड सी जी आई थ्री डी टूटोरियल सो इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन रिप्लेस अ ग्रीन स्क्रीन एंड एक्सटेंड द थ्री डी बैकग्राउंड यूजिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर ब्लैंडर एंड द सॉफ्टवेयर आफ्टर इफेक्ट सो आर यू रेडी देन लेट्स रोल द इन After this amazing intro, we are back. Now I am going to tell you how you can create this amazing VFX. So here we are in the amazing software named Blender, and now we need to create a 3D scene that we're gonna use for our project, and we're gonna place green screen footages. We're gonna composite our footages with this scene. So how do we decide to make a set? What is the process behind that? Let me explain that to you. So what we did was this was a shot. This was the widest shot that we had, and we knew that the set needed to be something that could. be placed in this background so for that what we finalized was that we will be making a few houses some cowboy houses here on the sides and we're going to make a street that is going to go in this way and which will have you know more houses at the end of the street and there might be a few other buildings like windmill or something like that in the side so that was the mindset that we had in creating the basic structure of the 3d set So how do we create what we thought right now? Let's do that. So the first thing was we took a 3D model of a human which could give us the scale, the scale that we will be using to create the whole structures, the whole street, the whole buildings. And if you also have such a model, what you can do is you can scale it according to this block. This block is like 1 meter or 3 feet, so the size of the human must be around two of these blocks so it it will be around a 6 feet human so first of all we'll create a ground i'll i'll click shift a and go to mesh and take a plane here which will act as a ground and i can open my controls so that i can see the gizmos and as you can see i just made ground for a scene the second step is to add a few buildings according to the model so what we can do is shift and right click the mouse button to take a cursor at a position where we want the house to be and we can add a block here so i can add a cube right here which will you know give me an approximation where the building will be placed so this is the position of one of the buildings and this will be the size of the building so i can resize it using s on on my keyboard so now i can duplicate the building by by clicking shift d and what we can do is we can move it for the back and what we thought was to create a gap here after the two buildings that we have in the beginning so that light could you know enter from here so using same duplication method what we did was added a few more of these blocks duplicated a few more of these blocks to get an overview of where the buildings will be placed now we can shift the these buildings and we can place them on the other side and we can place these houses on the other side and we can even use this building to create the buildings at the back and we can even add an array modifier so we go to the modifiers and we go to generate and we go to array modifier and now we'll shift this to minus x and we'll add the count so we have five more buildings in the back and that's done so we got a good block where we can add the buildings and create the scene so now let's get into creating the scene into adding the buildings and making everything look wonderful So once the set was blocked up what we did was replace these blocks with a few buildings as you can see here so these buildings you can model yourself or you you can download them from any 3d website which has 3d assets and buildings what we did was because we were short on time we could not model or we could not download a lot of assets we bought this pack from kitbash 3d and it's a, it's a great pack they they have you know added a lot of details in this pack and this video is not sponsored but still we liked to but still we wanted to tell you about it because it's a great pack and you can buy stuff there so so once we did that how did we place all these buildings well if i can show some of the buildings to you right here how they work out like this is a whole pack with all these different buildings as you can see here we have a full salon here that we placed so and even you have the control over the little details you can you know take objects and remove them or add them to different buildings to different scenarios you got different different assets in the same building so we just use them 
to place them wherever we wanted for example here we have a building and we want to place it here so we'll so we'll click shift and right click on the mouse button we'll go for shift s and selection to cursor and the selection will go to the cursor and if you want to move it you can use your gizmos or you can use g on the keyboard so that's your choice depending on how would you like to work and here we have a building at a place that we want it to be so repeating the same method we did this for all the buildings we place them on different positions with the blocks were placed and once we did that we got whole scenario we added a little more detail like we added a horse animated horse here which you know moves just a little a windmill and a church right there at the end to add a little bit more detail so it all depends on what you're thinking about what you want to create so we did what we wanted to do and you can do what you want to do because do whatever the hell you want to do my man come on boy come on man let's go into after effects and start the vfx so once the setup was done the next step was to take a footage into blender and match the footage lighting with the scene and the perspective of the footage with the scene so for that what we did was you know remove the green screen of the footage so we made a new sequence here we have it this is the footage you can just drag and drop it into a new sequence you will have the footage then you can remove the green screen so i'll duplicate the footage and i and i'll add an effect named key light to the footage select the color and boom that's it so it's so easy you can change it to screen mat just do this do this and you can just go to the track mat use luma mat and the green screen is done but as you can see there are a lot of problems with the green screen and the reason to that is because there are shadows so for that as you can see we use multiple layers we masked out the ground then we masked all the actors out for the we did the roto basic roto because there were not too much movement in the scene so it was not that difficult but it was difficult in the parts like as the girl is moving so we needed to roto that out but once that is done you can take your footage into blender for that you can even save just one frame for that you can go to composition save frame as and file and you can save it wherever you want to save it for example i'll save it here i'll go to the render settings and here you can choose from photoshop you can change it to jpg sequence and you can hit ok and choose the location you want to do and save it and your file will be rendered out in a photo format so you can choose jpg or you can choose uh, png that would be a better option because you'll get the the transparency data so after we have removed the green screen from the footage now we do another thing that we take this footage into blender but for that we track the camera and take the camera into blender so how do we do it i tell you right away what you can do is go to blender select your camera and to give you a clearer view on how you can set up your camera is what you can do is you can just shift click here to get the cursor here shift it, add a camera and you can hit zero to get into the camera view now hit n and here you will get the view option in the view option just go to camera to view option here what will happen is as you move the camera your scene will be set according to the camera and once you switch it off when you rotate you will come out of the camera view so i go to zero to the camera view and now you can go to the background images switch that on add an image and open your image like we had this image so we'll you'll get the image but you know as you can see it's in the background to bring it in the foreground you go to depth and you go, go to front and you switch the opacity to full and now what you can do is just hit zero and go to camera to view and set up your scene set up your camera according to your footage and one more thing that you can do is that you can change the focal length of the camera for example this is not a 50 mm camera this is a 35 so i'll go to the focal length and change the focal length to 35 and here i have it i have my scene and i can just change it a little more to match it up with the scenario and as you can see this is looking pretty okay so i can switch this off and as you can see whenever i will hit zero i'll be into my scene there's another option here you can change this passer out to one which will block out any view that is outside of the camera so you can focus more on the camera view and get a better view at what you are working with so the 3d set is ready now we need to do lighting how we do this i tell you so once we get the camera we get the setup so it's time for the lighting for the lighting we go to the render view here and we light up the scene so we'll light up the scene using sky texture so how does the sky texture work for that we go here to the shader editor and we go from object to the world view click shift s and search here 
for a sky texture and I can drop it here join the color so here you can see we have sun rotation and sun elevation so the elevation makes your sun go downwards and upwards as it will go in the evening and at the afternoon so we'll we are so we are going for an evening look so we'll get it around 9 or 10 degrees and we can rotate the sun according to the requirement so what we did was we rotated in we rotated the sun on this side so that we can you know get these shadows which will make the scene appear more realistic and more wonderful so as you can see this is the lighting that we went for this is the lighting that we used and go to the camera and go here to the depth of field and select your focus point somewhere around here so you can add a new null object and empty here and in the depth of field you can select this empty here so the lighting is ready the set is ready it is time to do the camera setting and render how we do this i tell you so once the lighting is done what we can do is now render the scene out for that we'll go to the scene settings and here we can select a device so i have selected the cpu instead of the gpu right here because the scene was too large and the gpu didn't have enough memory i have a 12 gb video card so that wasn't enough for the scene because it's a big scene you can scale down the textures if you want to get the render done but i'll go with the cpu right now cause i don't have to render out too many images i just need to render a few of them then you can go down here and set your samples to 256 or 512 that's a good value and go down here you can select the format the resolution of the scene how much resolution you want for the scene uh, the standard resolution would be 4k or full hd so you can set that up set up the frame rate to the frame rate you want it to be we use 24 fps right here and the last thing that you can do is set the number of frames like i am rendering out shot 1 to shot 20 that's frame 1 to frame 20 and that's it that's pretty much it then we go to render and render image or render animation in this case because we are rendering out 20 frames once that is done it's time to go to after effects so we have done the render now render we bring into after effects and we merge it with the real footage how we do this i tell you so coming back to after effects here we have our green screen footage all cut out all ready to be worked with so now to add on the details i added this background image right here and you can match the colors using lumetri and curves so that you can get better results in the matching of the colors and the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the sky which will add the details to the scene so what we did was we used three different elements for the sky firstly what we did was took this beach image which had these clouds which were looking amazing so we added that then we added another layer which is basically a gradient here of yellow color which gives us more detail and blends it with the scenario better and the last is that we have a bird flying mov here to give life to the scene which will make the scene more realistic and which will give life to the scene so once that is done we are all ready the scene is composited and once everything is composited you can add an adjustment layer add a glow here to the scenario just reduce the threshold increase the radius and just reduce the intensity to one or two percent what this will do is this will give you a good glow all around the scene which will bind things together better and that's how we created all of our vfx we added the horses the the birds the windmill and we got a scene composited together okay so that was one of the effect we did in this music video there are many other vfx we did so if you want to watch them i have make a breakdown you watch the breakdown and come back watch it
and for these moving shots what we did was we tracked the cameras and we took them into blender if you want to learn that you can comment down advanced compositing in blender so that we can share that knowledge as well with you and if you want to learn all these vfx in detail you can join our courses the vfx courses all the details will be available in the description of this video you can check that out and that's it that's how we did all the vfx for this music video there were many other shots like these where we used different compositing elements and physics simulations to break this door and cleanups if you want to learn that you can join the shoot i'll give you the details in the description oh you're back here so as you saw this was amazing vfx we did if you want to learn more of these effects comment and let us know which effect you want to see in the tutorials if you want to learn every vfx in their whole world you can join the institute if you love me comment you love me if you like the channel subscribe to the channel if you like this video like this video if you want your friends to see share this video my name is inside akiva i see you in another tutorial some other day until then take care bye bye kafi kuch kar diya maine yaar thak chuka hu main hello everyone my name bhai फेमस होने का तरीका मिल गया भाई पेपर कैसा हुआ नो पीस ऑफ पेपर कैन डिसाइड द फ्यूचर समझ गया भाई आगे बढ़ो स्थेटिक कैसा लगा आपको सेट कैसा लग रहा है स्थेटिक सेट आपको कैसा लग रहा है बढ़िया कि नहीं है कमेंट करके जरूर बताए मैं कैसा लग रहा है सेट स्टूडेंट्स ने बनाया है सभी स्टूडेंट्स की इसके बाद एक फोटो दिखाई जाए जिन्होंने बनाया है